morning and welcome to Bits and Pieces. Today I'm going, I've been harvesting a lot of herbs from the garden. So I decided that I needed to make some pestos to put back. We have a lemon balm and a sage. <clears throat> the lemon balm I'm not gonna use garlic with, I'm gonna use this mixture of onion and garlic chives. And when I say garlic chives, they're not like the leaves of the garlic, they are, where are they? Um, these little, they're actually chives that are grown, real thin little garlicky chives. And then, well, my onion chimes are honestly just uh, tops of uh, onion leaves that I've snipped off. <clears throat> I'll make that with pecans, which were given to me by my former in-laws. And then the sage, I'm gonna use pistachios that I bought a while back and I've had in the freezer, and garlic. These two are going in the garden because they started uh, sprouting. And then I'm going to put the uh, skins for the onion into my little container that goes in the freezer for uh, making broth later. So I'm making the lemon balm pesto first with the pecans, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then blending, adding olive oil and lemon juice as needed to get my consistency right. And... Then after that, I remove it and add the nutritional yeast that I use instead of cheese. And then I am freezing it in this, um, they're one cup containers, but they're only a little over a third of a cup in each one. Then we'll start the sage pesto. I'm just going to sage pistachios, salt, pepper, lemon juice, and olive oil. And blend down. And then I'm going to once again add this to a bowl and then add nutritional yeast after. I will also be freezing most of this and then adding to um, the rest of it's gonna be used for my potatoes for my Easter dinner. We've got, uh, I'm peeling the potatoes and cutting them up and just tossing them in the uh, pesto mixture to roast 425 for about 35 minutes. It really depends on how big your potatoes are, how big you cut them. And this is like a real, since I'm growing half the ingredients and pecans are given to me, this is a really inexpensive dish. Um, the sage I use you for chicken or roasted vegetables. The lemon balm is really good for chicken, fish, pasta, and vegetables. And this is my Easter dinner. The sugar snap peas also came from the garden. Got the ham on sale at 77 cents at Kroger. And then they had strawberries on sale for $1.47 a pound. I grabbed two pounds of those. Thank you for joining us at Bits and Pieces. Um, if you enjoyed the frugal recipes and ideas, please subscribe. And we really enjoyed having you here. Thank you.